India has taken the first big step to mainstream cryptocurrencies and this perhaps was one of the biggest highlights in the budget. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, while presenting the fourth union budget, announced that the Reserve Bank of India is going to issue its own version of digital currency in the next financial year using blockchain technology. The Finance Minister acknowledged that this will lead to cheaper management of currency and boost the overall economy. There was, however, disappointment for private crypto holders as the government brought digital assets under 30% tax regime. Crypto gains will also not be available for deduction and cannot be set off against losses in tax return. Introduction of a central bank digital currency will give a boost, a big boost to digital economy. Digital currency will also lead to a more efficient and cheaper currency management system. It is therefore proposed to introduce digital rupee using blockchain and other technologies to be issued by the Reserve Bank of India starting 2022 and 23. Scheme for taxation of virtual digital assets. There has been a phenomenal increase in transaction in virtual digital assets. The magnitude and frequency of these transactions have made it imperative to provide for a specific tax regime. Accordingly, for the taxation of virtual digital assets, I propose to provide that any income from transfer of any virtual digital asset shall be taxed at the rate of 30 percent, 3 zero percent. No deduction in respect of any expenditure or allowance shall be allowed while computing such income except cost of acquisition. Further, loss from transfer of virtual digital asset cannot be set off against any other income. Further. In order to capture the transaction details, I also propose to provide for TDS on payment made in relation to transfer of virtual digital asset at the rate of 1% of such consideration above a monetary threshold. Gift of virtual digital asset is also proposed to be taxed in the hands of the recipient.